Hey there, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. I've had some of you ask, I want some guide and help in how to use your new app. So that's what we're gonna do. How to handle and cover all the features in the Southern Savers app. Honestly, it's not really that tricky, but when you're the person who makes it, you also know a lot more about things. So the basics of the Southern Savers app, the first biggest part of it is definitely being able to keep up with all the deals that are running on the site. Um, so you'll be able to see all the current deals and go back through the previous few days of them as well. You can also at the very top click and go straight to the store that you wanna look at, make a list for that store, be all set to save money in your local stores. Also, other features that we've added in from the main site, but in a smaller form for your phone, are the item search and coupon database. And if you aren't using the item search, you're completely missing out. This is your way of finding who has the best deal on butter right now in my local stores which is how most of us grocery shop. We're not supposed to. We're supposed to shop based on sales and not based on need. But we all fail, at least on something once a week. I'll confess right now, I could really use some milk and bread in my house. Well, I can come to the item search, I can type in bread, and it's gonna show me every local store that has bread on sale this week and who has the best price. If I'm brand specific, type that in too. If you want nature's own bread, do a search. It's gonna tell you who has that product on sale. One other fun feature of the item search if you've never used it is that you can also put in a date from the past. I can put in a date of a month ago. It's gonna show me every deal on that product in my area over the last month. Why would I need that? Because now I know what a good price is. I know what we've seen in terms of the prices and the coupons on that product for an entire month. It's your own historical price book without you having to do any of the work. So that's also part of the app. When you're trying to find it, it is the little tiny um, spyglass. So it's super easy down at the bottom. One last part would be the coupon database. And that is what most of you know Southern Savers for. It's on the main site, but it is also on the app. So if you're in the store, I don't usually take my coupons in with me. I cut them before I go. But if you have a binder with you or a bag with you and you're just, you know what, do I even have a coupon for that? You could quickly pull up the database before you start digging through all your coupons in the store. Do a search for the product and know whether you would or wouldn't have a coupon for that product quickly. So your savings tracker, which you can use on the website, is also part of the app. If I'm in the car, I can quickly just enter the results from my receipt. How much did I save? How much was coupon related? How much was sale related? And keep track of how you're doing over time. A ton of folks enjoy it. I know for me, it's really fun to be able to see at the end of the year how much you've been saving. So as we go into January, try it out. I think you're gonna find it slightly addictive. Other fun features of the app is a new barcode scanning ability. Now, before you start scanning all the groceries in your pantry, that is not its design. The barcode scanner is actually to help you with price matching because don't forget stores like Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, they price match online retailers every day of the week all year long. It's not just a Christmas feature. Well, if I'm in Target, I see a DVD and I think, you know what, I really wanna grab this new DVD. Scan the barcode on the back of that DVD. The app is gonna tell you who has it the lowest price right now online. And if it's lower at one of those sites that Target will price match, then walk straight to customer service with the app. Tell them, you know what, Amazon has this DVD for nine bucks, you have it for 15. Now, right there in Target, you're gonna get the Amazon price. So let the app do the research for you in the stores just by scanning a barcode. If you don't have the barcode, let's just say you wanna know the best price right now on an iPod shuffle. I actually used it for this this morning. Then another feature of the app is to, do, to use the actual search for best prices online screen. And this one, I wouldn't have a barcode. I just know the product's name. So I can come here, I can enter a keyword and type in iPod shuffle, or even better, that MC number that all the Apple products have for that particular product. It's gonna tell you the lowest price for that item across a whole bunch of online stores. Find the one you want, you can buy it right there through the app or again, head to a local store and price match it. 
if that works and you want it right now. Um, beyond just the barcode scanner, there are other ways for you to kind of interact with me. There's a very fun feature that is very helpful to me, and that's that you now have the ability to report a deal. So you can enter in all the details and the price, you can even take a picture of it in the store, and it submits it to me. And once a week, we will pick a winner of a $25 gift card for anyone who is using the report a deal feature on the app. Pretty fun for you, but even better for me because now I can share the fun deals that you're finding on Southern Savers for everybody else to be able to find those deals too. It's really hard for me to be in all 32 stores that we cover on a weekly basis, especially because only seven of them are in my local city. So this helps me to have all of you guys on the ground in your stores, helping us find even more deals and more savings for folks to get. One other part of the app is videos. You're watching our videos now, but guess what? You can watch all of our past videos as well, straight on the phone. And we kind of have a lot of them. Um, but it's a great way to learn even more, skim through and grab just the topics you want as well. But anytime a new video comes out, it's gonna be right on your app too. Hopefully knowing how to use all of these features will really in the end help you see first how easy it is to save money and just how quick it can be. Uh, if you ever have features that you think we should add, feel free to share them. And one other just quick note, if you have an Android phone, obviously it's not gonna look just like my iPhone. You have a menu bar that's up at the top rather than at the bottom, but you still have all the same features.